So now I've got the motor in here. It's uh, fastened in uh, with this 2x4 that I found. Uh, and then drill the through, hole through that for the cord and the uh, circuit boards up here and the capacitor. Um, I'm also going to have to find a way to get these the switch and uh, speed modulator thingy to stick out somehow so I can control it. It's been quite a while since I last used the video camera while I was working on my potter's wheel. Uh, I just totally forgot to uh, record. But uh, yeah, it's done pretty much. This is what it looks like now. I used some spray paint and varnish to make it all nice and sleek. And here's the pottery wheel head. I cut up a little bit of a big tub to make the splash pan here. And made some uh, wooden bats to go with the pottery wheel head. Um, oops. And underneath looks like this. I added this little thing in the middle so that the water wouldn't drip down and ruin all the electronics and the motor and stuff. So yeah, looks pretty good right now. Um, pretty much looks like a wood burning fireplace that you would see inside a house. Except of course that the inside is gears and motors. Um, I might fix up the inside to look a little nicer, but that's pretty much it. And also, uh, I got some bare wires in here. I'm gonna cover those up and make those waterproof. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it though. I'm excited to start, to eat, start using this. Uh, it's gonna be pretty great. Uh, I'm gonna take this back to Maryland and set it up, set it up at my studio and that's probably where uh, I'll see you next. Yeah.
Thanks for watching.